Hey, don't throw your vacuum away. They're real easy to take apart, repair, and put back together. And I'm gonna show you how. I got this Bissell Power Force Helix vacuum cleaner from a curbside. I, to be honest with you, I've never bought a vacuum cleaner. People throw them away because they get clogged or something simple. So I thought I'd just walk through this one with you and see if it works and how I go about checking them out and how to fix it if it isn't working right. First thing I like to do so I don't waste my time is just plug it in and see if it'll run. And I can see right away the brush isn't turning. And the other thing I want to look for is make sure that it is sucking air, vacuuming. And I'm going to disconnect this hose before I go any further and make sure that it's pulling air because it wasn't pulling it from down here. You just turn that an eighth of a turn counterclockwise and it pops off. Now we'll check and see if it's pulling air. It should pull through here. And it's got good suction. So I imagine there's a clog somewhere in this hose. So I'll go ahead and remove this. I want to clean this up anyway, so And I can see it's all clogged down in there. But this hose is clear. So we're narrowing down the problems. We'll unplug it now. Flip it upside down. And we'll pop this bottom cover off. You want to pay attention, sometimes these screws are different lengths, so far these are all the same. And it just pops off. Actually it looks like the belt just fell off. Might not even need to buy a belt. The belt's supposed to go around that motor pulley there. I want to take the roller brush out and these just pop in. And you can see there's a little notch there that goes in there so you have to put it in the right way. I'll clean this up, pulls the air through here, and I imagine we're clogged right around in there. While I've got it upside down like this, I'm going to go ahead and power it up and just make sure that the motor's turning. Yeah, no problem there. Now let's check for our clog. So I'm going to take this steel rod that I have that has a blunt edge. I don't want to pierce this. This is just plastic. There we go. <laughs> I don't know what the heck they... Bunch of paper. And now it's just a matter of cleaning and putting it back together. I've got some compressed air so I can just blow it out. Clean up the brush. And it spins nice. So we're in good shape there. And I'm going to flip it over, clean out the canister. I'll empty this and then wash it. Washable filter. I guess that's this. And yes, I need to wash that.
Well, I guess the bottom just opens up to dump it, looks like. Press here. There you go. We'll wash this all out. I've got the vacuum unplugged, for sure unplugged, and I just want to clean this hose out. <laughs> this isn't real technical, but I'm just going to spray some water through there. The motor's up here, so I'm not getting the motor wet. Just flushing that out. And on this brush, there's a bearing inside of there, so you don't want to shoot water in there. I'm going to let it dry good, but, and I'm going to blow it out with my air compressor. And I look down in that clogged tube one more time before we put it back together, and I think there's our culprit. I don't know if you can see that, but there's a bobby pin jammed in there. I want to carefully pull that out because I don't want to puncture this. There we go. There's out. And that's a good example of not to vacuum these things, these hair clips. I will just wipe this all down. When I put these screws back in, I'm not going to use the screw gun because you over tighten them, it's just going into plastic and you'll just bust the plastic or strip it. Beautiful. Okay, everything's dry. Let's go ahead and put it back together. We'll put the wheels back on. There's just these two nubs here and you put it in vertically like this, set it down and they lock in place. Just like that. Next, we'll put our belt on, and the belt goes around that drive shaft from the electric motor. So you just twist it and set it in there, just like that. Then the roller brush. So we'll put the belt on first. Got that on. Actually, the belt side is round, so you can't mess that up. That just slides in there. So we'll stretch the belt. We're in. The other side has this squared off nub and it just slides in like that. And next we'll put the belt and brush cover on. This is the only hook that you've got to hook on here. So you hook that on and slide it in. And now we'll put the screws in. They're all the same length. You can't mess that up. Now we'll flip the vacuum back up. Put our holes on. And this end has two nubs on it. There and there. You put it in there and just turn it an eighth of a turn. Put it on and turn. All set. And we'll turn the vacuum back around. Now we'll take the top piece. Your filter goes in there. I'm going to close it. These two nubs here Go in these two slots and we're just going to turn it and lock it in place. That's it. Now we'll take our canister, which faces forward, so it's going to line up like this. 
but you want to look at the back side. There's unlock, and we're going to lock it. So you just put it together, twist, you're locked in place. Put the filter in, that just sets in there. Lock that in place, and now this little latch goes in here. This lines up with this, and that nub there fits in this pocket here. We'll set that on, lock it in place, and we're all set. It's your height adjustment there. Now we'll go ahead and turn it on. Make sure that the roller brush is turning and it's got good suction. subscribing and I look forward to helping you with other projects online.